You've got diabetes, so you've probably got questions. Watch this seven-part series for answers to help you kickstart living well with diabetes. If you measure it, you can manage it. Monitoring is a really important part of managing diabetes. It helps you figure out what's working and what's not. You'll be monitoring several key things, your blood sugar levels, your activity, and what you eat. You'll use a blood sugar meter or a continuous glucose monitor, CGM for short, to track your blood sugar. But don't think of your numbers as a report card. Think of them as a learning opportunity to help you take care of your health. Keeping track of your blood sugar levels can help you solve problems, like learning which foods raise your blood sugar and the best times to be active. Stick with your healthy eating plan because you know how foods affect your blood sugar. Check how your medicines are working and if any new medicines are affecting your blood sugar. And staying on top of your blood sugar levels can also help you spot changes over time that you can act on and lower your risk of high or low blood sugar. Remember, you're not alone. Work with your healthcare team to decide how often to monitor your blood sugar. It's different for different people. If you use a meter, you may need to check your blood sugar up to three times a day, depending on your individual plan. If you use a CGM, you can see your levels anytime. You can't rely on how you feel to tell whether your blood sugar is high or low, so it's always best to check. It might sound like a lot to keep track of, but you're not on your own. Your diabetes care and education specialist can help with deciding which kind of monitor works best for you and how to use your device. Tracking your numbers, getting to know your highs and lows, and what you can do about them. If you're not reaching your treatment goals, you can talk about changes that can help. Diabetes can affect your whole body, so make sure your healthcare team regularly monitors your heart, kidneys, eyes, feet, and sleep patterns. Your next step? Ask your doctor to refer you to diabetes self-management education and support. You'll gain in-depth knowledge and skills to manage diabetes and get hands-on help with monitoring. Ready to learn more? Watch the whole series and kickstart managing your diabetes now.